Hello, Bill Molino here for Bill's War Game World. Well, as many of you saw, I was at Mr. John's Toy Soldier Shop in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And a few people asked me about a few of the items I purchased. Well, start off with, I purchased this at Fort Frederick. And I'll paint this up to be one of the guns at the Alamo. So... Fort Frederick has a wide variety of 54 millimeter scale cannons, including naval guns. What else do we have to go over? Well, these Korean War figures at Mr. John's are made by BMC. And there's our UPC number if you're wondering. And this, can, this pack, uh, eight North Koreans, eight Chinese in exciting poses. So, we had some dead airspace because I had to let a dog out. As far as the poses and the figures are in a winter dress, I'm going to spray paint them in a flat gray. And then uh, Jim Shaw will give them a little hands, faces, and weapons painting and dry brush. Uh, very happy with them. They were, I think, $19.99 for 16 um, I got two bags worth all right for the Americans we're just gonna pick the camera up there we go all right the Americans uh, 1999 16 exciting winter poses and you know I use my World War II figures but now I actually have Korean War era and they're still using pretty much the same equipment uh, the bazooka, of course, got a little more oomph. And they're, they have great coats on. Now, these are 60 millimeter, but they're going to work fine with my 54s. You know, that's uh, really nice poses. Let me get down a little closer for you. And the detail on these are incredible. So, very nice detail. All right, well, so many neat things to talk about. Um, don't forget, I have the Bill's History World channel with Goober the Bear. And I'm posting videos like Matt on there on historic sites. I really would appreciate if a few of you would consider subscribing. I did a, a video on the Bliss Farm and uh, General Meade's headquarters this weekend and the high water mark. All right, now, the great Jim Shaw, painter extraordinaire, he uh, he zapped off my Gurkhas. Yeah, I had painted, painted them a bit, but his granddaughter, I believe it was, went through and did the touch-ups and the extra detail work, which is incredible. And the shading is, is really, really nice. Let's see if I can get the shading in there. I'm out of focus. I'm sorry about that. So I got... A tub of Gurkhas, Australian troops, and American GIs. Um, the American soldiers are the Mark's play set for the Navarone. All right, so I need to be buying some big poker chips for all these figures to glue down on the heavy poker chips. And at HMGS convention, many people came up and said they love those thick poker chips. All right, let's move on to the Alamo. All right, the Alamo is going to be featured at Barrage. I think it's a Saturday. Here is a bucket of Texans. I need to flock everything. And the great Jim Shaw once again did these. And as you can see, he shaded them. I mean, they're just fantastic. Can't wait to get them all flocked. And I think, a, I guess, a desert look. Now... What do we else need we need besides those figures for the Alamo? Are several hundred toxic Mexicans. So um, we have bag after bag that Jim has painted for me. He even did the flags. The detail is exceptional. And I'll be mounting six figures to a base. And that will look sort of like that. 
and of course I knocked them over. Now what I'm going to do, I'm trying to decide if I want to put them in the same poses for all six. So, or if I want to have them all the same poses or mixed poses. Does that make sense, everyone? So do I go with, you know, the look that, you know, it's a mixed up company, some firing, some walking, some charging, or do I go with all the same poses across the board. Leave a comment. Let me know what you would think you'd want to do. I'll probably ask Ron Proman, the great Snyder pretzel guy, who's very famous in the world of the Alamo games. So I have a lot of chores here. I got to get all these figures uh, mounted to movement bases and flocked. And I think there's around three or 400 Mexicans here. Now, Thursday, uh, the 3rd of August, Josh Warliff, Goober, the Traveling Bear, and I head to Virginia. And we're going to be at Yorktown, Jamestown, the Air Power Museum. We're going to go to Chesty Puller's grave site and do uh, a video of his grave site and pay, uh, uh, pay our respects to him and all that he did for the Marines. And, uh, you know, he kicked butt in both uh, World War II and the Korean War. So we're gonna go visit him. And that was a request by a Marine veteran who served in the Vietnam War, who gave Goober the Traveling Bear last year a little mini Viet um, Marine Corps uniform. So uh, that fella is uh, unable to travel. He lives out near Cumberland, Maryland. And he wanted a live video of uh, of that grave site. Um, so, of course, when I, I met him last year at Fort Frederick, we will be doing that. So, lots of things going on in the war game room. We got the Alamo to finish. We have figures to mount and flock and base. The Korean War stuff will be put on the side. Um, you know, sometimes I'm torn between what to work on because I even have Fort William Henry back there that needs to get fixed, too. Um, it's too bad we all have jobs and other things that interfere with our hobby of miniature and board war gaming. Well, I think that's it. Don't forget to order some figures from Mr. John at the Gettysburg Miniature Toy Soldier Shop. And look for videos and pictures on my Facebook site, Bill Molino on Facebook, for our trip on uh, this coming weekend. We're going to be hitting a lot of historic sites. And again, my historic site channel is Bill's History World and Goober the Bear. Thank you. Stay safe. Be kind. Be courteous. And work on some wargaming figures.